Hey, what's up guys? My name is Curtis and here I have a tutorial for those of you who are beginners to 100% or just beginners to the game who are looking into running 100%. So this is going to be a tutorial for kelp caves. So once you get the spatula here, just like in normal any percent, you would warp to the spatula. You're going to spawn over by Bubble Buddy and we're going to go ahead and get all the crystals and the camper and the sock that are in here. So you want to walk forward here, make sure you kill the jellyfish that's over here because we're going to be passing through here later. And if you don't kill that jellyfish, he likes to attack you. Here, right? So yeah, when you stand on this pressure plate, that button's going to open up, so you want to shoot it with a cruise bubble. So if you can get a cruise boost on this rock, that's the best place to do it. If you can't do that, then that's fine. You just want to come back over to this box and get one here. You can get it on whatever side of the box works best for you. Okay, so yeah, once you have a cruise boost, you want to come forward here and pick up the crystal that's right in the middle of the road. And then, so you want to come over here. We're going to stand on this rock structure here. This little, so like, bigger stone tiki that's, like, sideways. And you just want to bash twice and get on top of this. Yeah, the geometry of this, of a lot of the rocks and the kelp caves are weird. And they like to give you, like, your jumps and stuff back. So yeah, you just want to bash twice and get up here. You want to make sure your cruise boost is fast enough so that you get, so that you actually have enough distance to get over the rock from standing on that down there. But yeah, once you're up here, just jump across over to here. Get this crystal and then bowl away your cruise boost. So you want to stand on this pressure plate next. And shoot a cruise bubble at the cage that's over here that has this button. And yeah, if you can get a cruise boost off of like any of these objects here, that's obviously preferable if you can do that. Uh, this rock right here is another good surface if you can do it. If you can't, that's fine. You can just walk back to the box and get another one. If you're on Xbox and you want to cruise boost on that box again, you can just warp back to Cup Caves. So once you have your cruise boost... So here's the button that we just hit with the cruise bubble. So what we're going to do here is where the crystal was that we just got. So we're going to come through here and we're going to make a left. And go through this little section of the cave so you can kill this guy if you want. So we want to kill this sleepy time that's ahead of us here, and the easiest way to do that is to do a full double jump over him and to spin on the top of him. Because if we spin like the top of his model, like right as he notices us, then we'll kill him in one hit. So we're going to do that now. So yeah, if he hits you on accident, like if you get hit by him and you lose your cruise boost, then that's fine. You just want to shoot a cruise bubble at him to kill him instead. So yeah, get up here on this ledge right here with the underwear. You want to bash this way, not like that. You want to bash to the left, and then bash again to get up on this ledge and get this crystal right here. So once you have this crystal, if you're on Xbox, warp back to Through the Kelp Caves. Uh, if you're not on Xbox, you want to just backtrack the way you came and go back through here. You want to make your way back to Barnacle Boy. So if you warped, then you don't have to get a cruise boost here if you don't want to. It saves a little bit of time if you do, but if you don't want to, that's fine. You can make your way up here without a cruise boost. And then stand on this little light thing right here. And then just jump across over here to where the sock is. So if you're playing 100%, make sure you get the sock. And make sure in this route that you get this box. Very important. So come up here, hit this guy so he doesn't hit you while you're trying to stand on this pressure plate. So now you want to shoot a cruise bubble into the caves and hit this button that's opened up. So open up that gate. And then you want to come back here, cruise boost on this rock. And make sure you do it on this side of the rock. This side is really weird and it's not completely flat, so I don't like this side. 
some people get a cruise boost over here, but I don't really like this side either, so that's totally fine. Uh, you can't cruise boost on these rocks in here, then come back down to the box and get one right here. Okay, so once you have a cruise boost, you're gonna come through the caves, you're gonna jump across over to here, to where this leaf is, you take the trampoline, stand on top of here, and then jump like this to get up to where this uh, teeter-totter is. You want to get this crystal, and once you have the crystal, warp back to through the kelp caves. Alright, so walk over to this bus stop and switch to pass. So we're going to head as Patrick over into that area that opened up with the gate. So you want to come over here and jump across over here and climb this rock right here to get this crystal and then make your way back through the way you came. If you drown in this little center area, that's fine because you got the checkpoint, but obviously it wastes a little time. And that jellyfish can be a little annoying. So you want to jump up here. So the checkpoint is down there and the entrance from where we came into this gated area is right there. You want to jump up here to where the camper is. Make sure you get the camper. And then pick up the stone tiki. We're going to bring it back through this area from where we just came. So you need to be like standing far enough back here so that Patrick has enough distance to throw the tiki's up these ledges. So stand like back on this ledge here so he can throw it up the next ledge. And then you want to pick it up, come back to the edge, same thing. Throw it up the next ledge. Not like that. Don't do that. And then come up here. Once you have it up here, throw it on the stone on the ground. And this vine is going to rise up. So just take the trampolines up here. And get the final crystal. Now once you have it, warp back to through the kelp caves. Now you're going to get the spatula from Bubble Buddy, and then that's going to be it. And you can leave the kelp caves, and then you're done. And then you can continue on throughout kelp forest and go to the swamps and keep going. So I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. If you're looking to get into 100%, uh, I would recommend using this route if you don't want to do some of the more advanced tricks in kelp caves. So, yeah, I hope this was helpful.